Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Krista and I am so excited that you are here. Today's video is a how to get this hair look. I am in love with these big bombshell type of curls. I love to floof them up and make them real nice and big and fun and I do use the Numi Octawan for this look, the 24 millimeter barrel. <sighs> I have not ever had hair that look like this, ever. I'm not good at curling my hair, I'm not very good at any of the hair stuff, which is basically why this is my first solo hair tutorial, like a video dedicated to just me curling my hair. I haven't done that yet. So I hope you guys enjoy, and if you'd like to see how I get this hair look, then just keep watching. All right guys, so we are going to dive right in. My hair is a little bit crimpy from um, me braiding it when I sleep. I did have some curls in, but my hair is being really stubborn because the weather is awful right now, so it's super frizzy and gross, so we're going to try to tame this a little bit. I have noticed that with the Numi Octa Wand that um, if I curl my hair twice, so like two days in a row, my curls last so long after that second time. Like, if I put it in a braid and I take it out of the braid, it looks like curls and not like this like crimpy braid. So that's really cool. I'm into that. And um, I also really love uh, how this technique has been working. So I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how to get some sweet bombshell curls. So the first thing is product. I am going to put a little dry shampoo in my hair. I am on third day hair. I love using this Batiste dry shampoo. It does have a little bit of a tint to it, so it doesn't make your hair look white. And I don't like to put too much in. Just kind of where I need it. The crown. Normal color, the extra dark one. This is the brunette one. So, a little light. Oopsie. So, basically, then I just kind of like fluff up my hair, and this does help like lift your roots, greasy look out of your hair. And then you definitely want to brush through. Alright, and then I'm going to take a little bit of a heat protector. This is the Not Your Mother's Beat the Heat. I've really been liking this one, but you do want to use it pretty sparingly. I basically just spritz the ends a couple times, and I try not to get this too much on my roots. And then I'll do like one on each side. And then again, you want to brush through, make sure the product's evenly distributed. And basically, you just want to wait until your hair is not wet from the spray anymore. You don't want to go like directly in and curl your hair right now. So now I'm going to get my curling iron heated up. The Numi Octa One does have eight different heads on it, and it does come with the bottom part to heat it up. So you basically just slide it in. And then there is a lock setting right here. And so I like to put mine on 350. I have extremely hard to curl hair. My curls basically look like this most of the time. Um, so I've really been enjoying this one because I can get like good hair, good looking hair. I haven't been able to have good looking curly, like straight, my hair looks really nice, but curly, I feel like it's all over the place. So this has been awesome and I'm gonna show you guys what I do. So while the wand is heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and section my hair. I'm gonna go right at the temple and come straight back. And then I'm going to put this up and out of the way. I just kind of like twist it at the top of my head and put a ponytail over it. It's basically 
what we have going on. I hope this is a good view. I'm trying to be able to get like all my hair in. It's kind of hard to get it all in one. All in one shot. So you just want to make sure that there aren't any knots left in your hair. I'm gonna grab the glove because I always burn myself. My wand is heated up, heats up nice and fast. And I basically like to start in the back. So basically I'm going to grab the hair on the with the glove, the same side that the hair is on. So the curly iron in the opposite hand. I'm gonna put it behind my head and I'm going to start twisting the hair around the barrel and I do like to leave a little bit out you want to make sure that you're twisting so you don't want the hair to be super flat on the barrel and I do kind of hold it like a little out kind of like this it gives it a little volume at the root and I hold it for about 20 seconds and then I like to just leave it in the hand with the glove and kind of section off another piece throw it behind. So what I have found with this type of curl is the smaller the section of hair, the more piecier your curls are going to look. So again, away from the face, wrapping the hair around the barrel and leaving a little bit out. I do like to leave a little bit of space on the barrel in between the curls. This is the type of curl that we get. I like to leave it like that. I don't mess with it. I don't pull it out. I've seen some girls do that. And just because I do have really hard to curl hair, it's really hard to curl my hair. And I'll show you how I like loosen them up and make them look like big. But I let them cool off usually before I do that. And I'm not a big fan of hairspray. I don't like it when my hair is kind of crunchy or I can't put my fingers through it. I really like a soft hair. Um, I don't color my hair and I haven't been styling my hair very often for very long. And so you just get kind of used to your hair being soft. And so I do not use hairspray when I do this. If I do, it is like the smallest amount. And that's if like I'm going somewhere and I know like I need curls for like a, a wedding or something where you're basically getting ready in the morning and then at night, you know, you still want to look good. So then I would probably put a lot of hairspray in my hair, but just for like general styling on an everyday, I don't put hairspray in my hair. And also because I don't wash my hair more than once a week, I really don't like to put hairspray in because it kind of gets a little gross and you really can't not wash your hair if you have a ton of hairspray in your hair. It's really gross. So. so same thing in the front. I really like to do smaller pieces. It just makes it look chunkier. And if I do have like a smaller piece like this one's pretty small, I will only do 15 seconds on the barrel. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward while I do this side. All right, so that layer is done. And actually, I think I'm going to do another layer. I've been doing this extra layer lately and I've really been liking how my curls turn out. Put the curls on the back. Again, make sure there aren't any tangles. And I'm basically going to do the same thing. Okay, so that is done. We're gonna take down the last layer. Make sure to brush it. So now this top layer, I don't like to go as high with the curls and I do like to go just a little bit bigger of a piece. So I'm going to go for a little bit further down, still wrapping it around, just not as far up on the root.
Okay, and then for the piece right by the face, I'm gonna hold it like down and then at eye level, and we're still wrapping the barrel. You want it to start close to like your eyebrow. And I'm pulling like really tight on this piece too. I want it to be like nice and curled. And I hold it for five more seconds than the rest of them. See how it falls then like right where you want it to. Again, not as high as usual as the under pieces and a little bit bigger of a piece. Okay, so again with the front piece, you want to kind of hold it by eye level and that's where you want to start your curl. All right. See how it like right where you want it. Okay, I'm just gonna pull all my hair forward. Make sure some of the back pieces don't need to be recurled. All right, so now we have something that looks a little bit like this, and you can kind of see when you do small pieces, it does look like kind of piecey which is what you want for this type of look at least. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run my hair through the root. Just try to get those. Yes, do you see that? Okay, and so then I just like to kind of loosen, break up the curls a little bit and keep going through it, pulling it apart. And then honestly, I like to just kind of give it a brush. And then just to add a little bit of moisture and shine into my hair, I love using my organic jojoba oil. I got this on Amazon. And I literally use one drop. Rub it around and then hit like the back and the ends and then I kind of like run my hands through my all of my hair with like the leftover product so basically we have something that looks like this and then what I've really been liking is if you kind of go like this so again if you like put your hands through to the back and then kind of like pull your hair up a little bit. Look at that. Big hair. Love good big bombshell hair. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I just love it. Like look at that hair. I'm so into it. Where's my husband? He needs to take me out on a date. Like this hair. So then sometimes I like to, you know, just put a little bit in the back too, so we're not like all bald in the back. I've been doing that lately too. You can still kind of do that movement, but then you have like some hair in the back, you know? Ooh, girl, look at those curls. I just love this hair look, I think it looks so pretty and glam. And it honestly didn't take, doesn't take me that long. If I do the three layer method, it takes about 25 minutes. If I do just like two layers, if I'm in a hurry, it literally takes me 15 minutes to do my hair like this. So I have really been loving my Octa wand. Let me turn it off, don't forget to turn it off. And so I've really been loving this. I love to try out different types of curls. Right now I've only used the 32 and the 24 millimeter, but I'm definitely going to start experimenting with some of the other barrels. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I hope you guys have a great day or night wherever you are. Toddy bye.